the ME21N transaction code is used to create a purchase order. This procedure is used to manually enter a miscellaneous pay purchase order in GFIBS. Now we will demonstrate how to create a miscellaneous purchase order in GFIBS. Enter transaction code ME21N in the command field. Press enter. Select miscellaneous pay PO from the drop down menu. Note, click on the document overview on button on the menu bar if necessary. Enter the vendor number in the vendor field. On the organization data tab, in the purchase organization field, enter army. In the purchase group field, enter the purchasing group data. Select the communication tab and enter the appropriate data in the your reference field. Select the Customer Data tab and enter the correct PIN in the Contract Information area. In the Contracting DODAC area, enter the Issuing, Administering and Pay Office data. Click on the Selection Variant button and select My Purchase Requisitions. Click on the appropriate document number and select the Adopt button. Click on the Document Overview Off button for a better view of the screen. Expand the Item Overview field and select the desired line item. On the Customer Data tab, PO General, enter the SRN number created by the purchase requisition. Click on the Delivery Schedule menu item and click the yellow box in the Preg Closed field. Click on the Item Kit field line 10 box and enter D. Press the Enter key. Click on the Limits tab and enter the amount in the Overall Limit field. Enter the Overall Amount in the Expected Value field. Select the Account Assignment tab and enter the WBS element. This will update the line of accounting information. Select the Customer Data tab. Under the PO General tab, enter the second SRN number for the second line item in the SRN field. Select the Delivery Schedule menu item and then click the yellow box in the Preg Closed field. Click on the item kit field line 20 box and enter D. Press the enter key. Click on the limits tab and enter the amount in the overall limit field. Enter the overall amount in the expected value field. Select the account assignment tab and enter the WBS element. This will update the line of accounting information again. Click on the check button in the command bar to verify any errors. If no errors are found, click on the save button in the menu bar. Record the miscellaneous pay PO document number that was created. You have successfully completed this task.